How's it? I'm going to show you guys a little bit about how to take your product that you made for a design class and vectorize it in Illustrator. But before I do, I got a, a joke book for Christmas. And uh, what fruit teases people a lot? It's a, uh, a banana. Na, 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 na. Let's go and make some shoes. Uh, open Illustrator. Uh, you're going to choose print document. Um, in your print document, you're going to make it uh, more uh, portrait according to your uh, product. Um, you're supposed to take a screen, uh, use your MacBook, take a photo of it in like a photo booth, flip it, um, go to edit, flip photo, and then email it, and then open it in Illustrator. So you can just choose an A4 is fine, and just choose landscape or portrait. Um, and I'm gonna call this shoe product design. Okay. Uh, units, I like to have those in inches. And then uh, whenever you change something here, it'll say custom, which is fine. So I have my new uh, document. I'm gonna bring in that shoe. So to bring in the shoe, I'm just gonna take it, take a screenshot or drag it to the desktop and then drag it into uh, Illustrator. Okay, so I'm gonna place my shoe right there. Now what I wanna do is lock it, uh, Command 2 to lock it, because uh, so that way when we select it, it stays there. Now the easiest way to uh, uh, draw your uh, product design um, is either by pen tool or with shapes. I'm gonna start with the uh, pen tool. Um, Actually, I'll do shapes first just to show you how easy it is with shapes. I'm going to choose like the rounded rectangle tool because you see these laces here. Um, I'm going to try to use this. So um, I'm going to try to line it up. And again, see how uh, far away it is? I would try to uh, zoom in a little bit uh, for that. So uh, command plus sign would work good. So like I, I can have my shoelaces like this. Uh, for the color, try to match the color as best you can. Uh, we're gonna work more on color later, so don't really spend a lot of time making it look perfect in terms of coordinating colors. If you don't want a stroke, you choose the, uh, that one with the slash. So it um, doesn't matter too much on the color right now. We just wanna make our design. Uh, the reason why I want you to start making your design uh, now is um, and I'm just duplicating it, hold down the option key and then clicking it, is because I want to make sure that you haven't chosen something too simple. Like if you can like make your, de your design illustrator in like a couple minutes, it's too simple. But if it takes you over an hour, it's too complicated. So choose something that's manageable uh, and just right. Okay, so as you can see, it's very simple to make that. Then I would uh, get my s eclipse tool and then make like the eyes of the uh, shoe. And maybe I'll do that a little bit a darker uh, color and then duplicate that as well. Okay, so you get the idea. Uh, you want to make sure you're grouping things. Uh, so you want to click on something, hold down shift key, click on something else, and then command G is group. Um, so that way you can move the object as one, okay? Uh, when you have like a set, if I finish this set, then I can go ahead and group this whole object, okay? Um, it's really important to work with your layers uh, to help you organize um, your workflow. So I'm gonna come up here and get my layers uh, toolbar. So with my layers, right now I have the shoestrings, so I'm just going to call those uh, laces. And with my laces, I could hide those, but notice that the laces are inside that picture, so I would need to do that um, to get it out. So let's say you want to make a more unique shape. Um, Let's say we have a circle. Remember, if you hit the A key, you can delete parts of this and hit A key again, and then you can kind of move it to, if you want to manipulate that kind of shape that you started out with. And remember these rods, you can kind of bend it 
accordingly. So you can um, really change and customize the shape according to how you want it. You can also, uh, if you have a square, what you could do is uh, subtract. If you like have a square and then I can have another shape like a circle. If I want to uh, take this part out of that square, I just select both of them, okay? And then I control click on it. Sorry, uh, you need the Pathfinder window. So you bring up the Pathfinder window. And with this, you have two shapes. And notice that you can uh, subtract the shape. And so you can get the shape that you want. And there's different ways of subtracting it as well. This is grouping it. So it basically groups it as one object. Um, so this is very helpful because you could uh, use it to create some of these shapes down here by adding different kind of shapes together or subtracting it. So that can be very useful. Uh, then you can create a new layer and just do the different parts of the shoe. Uh, I'm going to start drawing, like drawing the outline of the shoe just to give a better idea uh, with the pen tool of how to use that. Uh, for the pen tool, use a normal pen tool. Uh, make it a little bit more thick so it's easier to see it. Uh, just a black is fine. Um, just do a black, but don't fill it. So the the fill is nothing, but just do a black stroke. Uh, I'm gonna do a two point stroke. Now you're gonna hit the uh, pen. Now it's, if you see colors, the way you want to draw your object is you want to kind of group it. Okay, you don't just want to make an outline because uh, basically if you just made an outline like this, and then you try to um, fill it I mean you it's not gonna be filled with one color okay so if I fill this with a color you know that's not the way the shoe is gonna work um, so what I would do is I would draw it by pieces I'm just gonna delete um, delete that and the beauty of Illustrator hit command Z as many times as you want uh, unlike Photoshop, there's special keys for that. So what I would do is, like I'm going to start here and draw like this little object right here. Uh, remember, if you hold down after you place a point, you can bend it. And so uh, it can work on like that. Um, so I'm going to keep bending it according and, tra and basically tracing it. It can be pretty fun. So try to uh, uh, draw the pen around like that. Um, let's see, um, after you have it drawn around, hit the A on your keyboard, A for Apple, and that way you can click on the points and kind of edit the points and bend the points more in detail of how you want it to be. Um, so I could like move this, I could bend this a little bit more, and then after I got that done, um, I can go ahead and fill it with the color that I want. And so now it's a little bit more uh, realistic. So basically I'm gonna go to each of these parts and draw, draw with the pen tool around it. Uh, you can decide later if you want a stroke or you don't want a stroke on that. But hopefully you should get a good design. Uh, right now I'm not so concerned about like, like see all these zigzags, just draw the shoe. Just spend no more than an hour on it. If you only get half of it done in an hour, then just stop there and just post what you have. I'll understand but I don't want you to kill yourself trying to make all these details because you may change your mind. You may like, hey, I want to change it later, but basically just draw the object so that you can say, see if the object is uh, doable and then you can change it later. So I would just kind of draw um, certain things of this product. Um, so yeah, that's uh, product design. And of course, um, like you learned in your tutorial, you can use the paint bucket to uh, color things a little bit easier. Okay, so remember, banana, na na na.